Hello everyone. We're back from Sparkles College with our lecture number two for the course Business Ethics and Corporate Social Responsibility. Um, in our previous lecture, we covered some topics for our first objective that is explain the concepts of business ethics and social responsibility. We're going to continue today with the same objective because the four objectives that I have stated here explain, analyze and judge, identify, describe, all of these are going to be covered within this course. But right now, our second lecture is also based upon the first objective, which is explain the concepts of business ethics and social responsibility. In our previous lecture, um, you know, I gave you a good overview for what social responsibility is, right? I'm gonna I have also included the same slide in my new lecture which is lecture number two why because I wanted to give a quick overview a quick background of what we are going to discuss in order to make sure that all of us are pretty clear with what we read before we should be clear about it we should have a good understanding of the concept of social responsibility because we are not going to just study it individually we're going to relate it with our course of business ethics we're going to see that how business ethics are connected with social responsibility how are these two things connected with each other we and this can only be done if we have a good and sound understanding of business ethics on one hand and social responsibility on the other only at that particular point we'd be able able to you know develop a connection between these two important terms so just an overview i told you business ethics ethics um, is basically the moral values that needs to be followed the understanding of right and wrong which is based on the moral principles is called business ethics within a business right and uh, social responsibility any kind of responsibility that is towards the social aspect of the world anything the social culture the social norms all of these things are actually applicable to everyone in the society so social world is basically originating from society so social responsibility is basically the responsibility towards the society in simple words i'm going to tell you that while business ethics is the understanding of right and wrong within a business social responsibility is the responsibility towards the society i hope this is clear to everyone now that we have established these two different things we would be able to understand it in a better way and develop a good and sound understanding of how it is connected how social responsibility is connected with business ethics uh, before going into the detail of this connection i'd like to uh, shed some further light on social responsibility as done previously as well but i'm going to do it once again with you people so social responsibility the duty to do what is best for the good of the society. I already told you that it means your responsibility towards the society, the duty to do what is best for the good, uh, what is best or what is good for the society. Then management's consideration of profit, consumer satisfaction and societal well-being of equal value in evaluating firm's performance. Now they have just given you a little background of how social responsibility is made corporate social responsibility, which is the essence of our topic, right? I'm not going to go in too much detail right now on that because right now we're just establishing what social responsibility is, right? So we need to understand that first. So in order to understand this concept, I'd like to tell you that whenever we start a business, I mentioned this in the previous lecture as well, but let me just give you an overview. Whenever we start a business, right, the management's consideration is always to make profit, right? What what are businesses for? They are to earn profit, they are to earn money for the uh, business owners, right? But social responsibility says that management's consideration of profit to run the business is not right, right? Not It's not wrong. But it's not the only thing that is required. You get my point? So on one hand, when we say that, yes, this is essential that a company when established should make profit for itself or for its owners, that is fine. But that's not the only thing. That's not the only need of a business, right? So management's consideration of profit, consumer satisfaction and societal well-being of equal value in evaluating firm's performance. Whenever you're evaluating a firm's performance, you need to make sure that you are not just evaluating the firm's performance on the basis of the profit that they have made. 
you have to evaluate it on the uh, on the basis of profit the consumer satisfaction and general societal well-being that if your business is affecting the society in any way then it is wrong right a simple example i'd like to give here the industries right if they're uh, using materials or they are using outdated machines that are causing pollution in the society such as air pollution causing health issues to the people living then it's not a good thing when you're evaluating the firm's performance even if the firm is really profitable if, but if they're not taking care of their societal values and this is what they're doing to the society it doesn't mean that they're successful as a business you get my point so this is one very important concept and i explained it to you with the example as well so secondly it's written uh, okay while while i have told you this already that satisfaction consumer satisfaction societal well being as well as profit should be evaluated equally to measure the firm's performance this is very important then we have co uh, contributions to the overall economy job opportunities and charitable con contributions and service i already explained this in the last lecture as well that while we're talking about profit and our business so it is our responsibility as business owners to contribute to the overall economy by how by providing job opportunities to the, to the employees by doing charitable contributions i, I mentioned this example last time that if you are going to uh, you know plant trees to in order if you know that because of your business operations there is some level of pollution that is being created in the environment what can you do to overcome that you can plant trees you can just you know replace your machines you can use more uh environment friendly materials so this is all charitable contributions that they are doing the profits that you are earning maybe you can give some part of it to the poor people some part of it to the uh, junior staff who are working uh, day and night for you right so this is how you can basically like extra income that you can give it to them and this is how you can prove yourself that this is this business is not just about making money or if just you know gaining as much as business as we want this is basically about keeping everyone happy while getting profitable okay and as i mentioned this is the um, a link for you to understand how social responsibility works you can definitely uh, click it and view the uh, video and i hope you like it as well moving on uh, we have responsibilities to the general public remember one thing right now we are just doing social responsibility i just gave you a concept of how social responsibility is related to the corporate world however right now we are basically seeing that how social responsibility uh, includes the responsibility towards the public towards the society and all these things right and then we are going to link it towards the business as we did before so first of all we have public health issues right responsive this topic is responsibilities to the general public i will tell you really clearly these things if you have any questions as i told you before please uh you know just um don't forget to ask questions as many as you want and while i am saying that i would also like to request you that please subscribe our channel uh you know to have uh, every updates to have all the updates regarding the videos answers to your questions so the first thing you should come uh, after you know on this um, channel is on this video is to subscribe even if you haven't subscribed yet please just uh, you know minimize your screens go and subscribe the channel and then come back okay all right so um, responsibilities to the general public public health issues um, what to do about in inherently dangerous projects such a products such as alcohol tobacco vaccines and steroids so let me give you an example of alcohol uh, tobacco etc so while you know that you are using these substances in your maybe businesses or you know you're promoting the selling of these uh, products which are harmful for the public so this is something which is going to be bad for the society so the public health issues that you can create through alcohol tobacco vaccine and steroids should be strictly discouraged and prohibited they should not be you know you allowed to be uh, you know sold open in the market anyone can get them can get health issues and all these things even the businesses who have this requirement to use it right they should make sure as well uh, for example steroids and vaccines maybe you need them at particular time but you have to make sure that you're using them using them with a sense of responsibility right you're not creating it a problem for the society that's the whole thing so first responsibility is public health issues that need to be prevented protecting the environment 
using resources efficiently minimizing pollution i already explained that in one of the examples i gave for the industries that whenever you are using uh, you know harmful substances it can be uh, hazardous to the society so you should what you should do is you should res use your resources in the most efficient way in order to minimize the pollution this will help you to uh, you know have a more greeny land will help you to have a more purified land with a purified air without any sort of pollution that can include air pollution water pollution land pollution right so protect your environment that's very important do not waste materials do not just you know dump waste materials any anywhere around creating pollution and all these things right then we have recycling recycling is very important again uh re reprocessing used materials for reuse right we i'm sure all of us in our schools and colleges and if we even not in schools and colleges but generally in our life we do hear this that you know we should um yeah so we do hear this that we should uh you know promote recycling of plastic maybe right so that it does not it's not creating pollution so these things so you always should try that whatever product you're using like if you're using straws plastic materials anything you should just you know promote recycling them instead of making new ones or creating more pollution through manufacturing so recycling should be promoted in in a in a business as well okay then we have developing the quality of the workforce it is again a responsibility that falls under social responsibility and obviously linked with the corporate world which is the workforce so they're saying that it's very important to develop the quality of the workforce enhancing the quality of the work overall workforce through education and diversity initiatives so what you need to do is that when you have brought employees into your company it's not just that you are paying them the salary and they should just work for you and give you profit right what you should do is you should do something for their growth as well for their development as well what you can do is you can do that through education and through diversity diverse initiatives right you can have training programs for them you can have development programs for them so that they can learn some skills as well they can grow themselves professionally as well and at the same time when they'll be happy that okay our organization is thinking about us as well they're going to work to the best of their capacity they're the, they'll be the ones who are going to generate you maximum profit so this is also a very important concept developing the quality of the workforce even if some person you see you know um in your office is not performing too well right it's what what a person who's not uh, familiar with social responsibility will do an owner will just be like okay just you know fire this person maybe he's not profitable to the organization that is extremely wrong extremely wrong if a person is putting his hard work and still not performing then you as the management it's your responsibility to find out the root cause train him spend time with him develop his skills develop his uh, the quality of work and that's that can be done through education and diverse initiatives that you can take right then we have corporate philanthropy uh, i'd like to mention this uh, for you that in order to understand this concept we can divide it into two parts again philanth philanthropy and we can do it as corporate you already know what corporate sector is right corporate sector where you are uh, doing businesses and you have different stakeholders employees customers all of these involved these these are something this is something very important and i would like you to please pay attention on this and make sure that you understand this right that what corporate uh, sector means corporate section uh, sector basically is a large company or group it's it's a, it's a thing it's a company or group a corp corporate identity right so it why is it called cor corporate it is called corporate because it's a legal entity that is separate and distinct from its owners right so this is very important concept then we have phil philanthropy now what's that in this concept you should know that the desire to promote the welfare of others expressed specially by the generous donation of money to do good causes this is what the concept of philanthropy is right and while we're using these together 
it sh it it's written cash contributions donations of equipment and products and supporting the volunteer efforts of company employees if your company employees are volunteer voluntarily doing something good for the organization or for anyone outside the organization you should help them you should promote that you should support that why because they are do being generous in the organization maybe towards the organization and towards the society you should have co cash contributions donations of equipments and products which you are not using you should be generous enough to give them right so this is what this concept is